our famous little town of Portageville, some major changes have happened. Why am I making a video on it? Well, because I most certainly have a right to. There are quite a few people who are in an uproar about it, don't agree with the decision, so on and so forth, and you are running around bashing people because you, you feel a different way. And by the way, you have that right to. Last year, I caused a little bit of an uproar with a flag I put on my house. People didn't agree with what it said and how it said it. And I understand. It wasn't censored out for the kid's sake because God only knows what they hear in the radio with said parents who had a problem with it. And God forbid what they watch on YouTube or the TV because, oh, that word is so much more offensive, right? Let me show you what I'm talking about. As you can see, that flag says F Biden and F you for voting for him. Now, I live on a corner, corner lot, pretty busy intersection. Quite a few people had a problem with that flag. The mayor at said time sent me a message telling me to take it down, so on and so forth. And it was also brought to my attention that some organizations within this community endured some of the negativity because they thought that I was affiliated with them. For the record, the only organization that I'm affiliated with at that time and present time is my organization, the Outlaws and Night Riders Trucking Club, that I am the president of. That flag stands for a lot of things. It stands for my right to flight. It stands for the guy across town who liked Biden, who voted for him, who didn't like Trump, to fly an F Trump flag. That's what it's about, is our God-given rights, American rights. And it doesn't matter our political view, doesn't matter the color of our skin, doesn't matter what our religious views are. If I took that flag down when I was asked to, I would be forfeiting that right. And it would be an example to the people in a different community. And when I say community, means people who have a different point of view than what I do. They wouldn't be able to do on their property. I want to demonstrate that we can all coexist regardless of our political views. I had people here on my property that voted the other way. It shouldn't matter how we vote as far as our human decency goes. What's right is right, what's wrong is wrong. And as I said, if I had bowed down and took that flag down, I wouldn't have stood for nothing. I have the exact same right to express my political view on my personal property as everybody else does does not matter political view we can coexist we can all get along we can barbecue together we can you know open a can of coke and drink it a bottle of water gatorade whatever we can do that have different views coexist and that's that's another reason why I had that flag. Main reason being our rights. I want the guy or community of people across town to fly an F Trump flag. Or whatever. Whatever your view is, you should be able to express it without repercussions. It was brought to my attention that the mayor at the time was going to come to my house and he was going to take that flag down himself or make me do it. I'm sorry to tell you, but you're messing around the wrong house for that kind of attitude. Missouri has two laws. Well, they have many laws, but two laws is I, the castle law and the no retreat law. I have every right to defend my personal property, my life, my belongings, or the 
lives of other people who I feel may be endangered to any extent that I feel necessary. It would not have ended well. Fact of the matter is, if flag's still standing, you ain't. It just goes to show you what ego and an abuse of power get you. Don't know what else all you've done. Don't care.